Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is a general reading for the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. It will not resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, who <laughs> speak of the devil. <laughs> Sagittarius. Um, this is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Sagittarius propensity that is relevant to you. Personal reading information is linked in the description box, as well as any jewelry seen and all tarot decks used also linked. Towards the end, we'll pull some, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. I do only take jumpers. I appreciate your patience. And the reading is aimed for the month of August, but time is elusive. Whenever you are drawn to watch the reading, that's usually when you're meant to hear the message. Alrighty, seems like your cards are ready. Two twos. Two twos. Twos could be important to you, significant. It's also in your timing energy, so two weeks, two days could be relevant. Actually, from the time that I'm filming this, two days will be the Lionsgate portal. So if you're probably going to see this afterwards, so the, that could be could have been relevant to you or some sort of signifier. In the bottom of your deck, Eight of Wands, movement forward. Maybe there'll be some movement forward once this Lionsgate portal kicks off and, you know, progresses. Communication as well. Some of you might be traveling also overseas, over water. By air, I mean over water, by air, but movement forward. If things have been stagnant, movement forward. We are moving. We are not staying in the same place energetically. Stagnancy is not our friend or our names. Six of Wands, King of Cups in your past position. As I said, movement forward. Look at these guys. Just chucking and buckling, ready to just, you know, this could represent you. This could represent someone in your energy. Water sign energy with the King of Cups, Knight of Cups, sorry. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, some sort of offer, some sort of um, communication here that someone is wanting to either give you or you're giving to someone else. This could also people just be singing your praises, right? This is also could be just people giving you your roses while you're alive. The Six of Wands is very much that energy, victory, success, also coming out or being public with something. Someone could be expressing some sort of making their emotions known, making their emotions public. After maybe a while of keeping it in, I do see the two of swords there. Or this could just be tell people singing your praises, you know what I mean? Really enjoying your work, really enjoying your what you got to offer. Really loving what you got to offer and uh, not being afraid to verbalize it. Not being afraid to verbalize it. Some of you, this is just moving forward after a period of being very stuck. Creating illusions in our mind, overthinking. You know what we say about this girl? <laughs> right? But it looks like that has become too much. There's absolutely, this is my doing your too, doing too much card. So maybe some responsibilities need to be delegated in order to feel less stressed out with the Eight of Swords. But this is no longer carrying the weight of the world. No longer doing it all yourself. No longer holding it in. No longer not expressing. No longer being, you know, not, not authentic. And I do think there's some sort of conversation here. I am seeing the Ace of Swords as well, which is truth, which is clarity, which is now also a card of information. So this could go very amounts of ways. Some of you, there is a project. There is something that you have been too. There is something that you have been very, very self-conscious about, whether it's your, your personality, whether it's a job or something you love doing. Really keeping yourself small is the vibe that I'm getting. Whether it's someone that you like and you don't think you're good enough to tell them that you like them. Whether it's a job you think you're not good enough for. Whether it's a, a career project that you think too many people are already doing. Something here was keeping you from being free from expressing yourself as you should. But not for long though. Not for long because it does look like it will get too heavy. You'll get tired of your own shit. Right? And if this is you trying to do everything yourself, you're going to learn that. No man is an island. You need to delegate some responsibilities. And there will be some sort of breakthrough. No doubt, Ace of Swords and Death. I see the Death card here, Scorpio energy, transformative energy, taking this thinking energy and applying it to something higher vibrational, something that's going to benefit you. Using your thoughts to, to propel you forward, not allowing them to keep you stuck because we are the creators of our own destiny. Everything is a reflection. Our life is a reflection of our own selves no one else's, right? Because no one's forcing you to do anything. No one's forcing you to stay around shitty people, shitty job. No one. You're making that choice every morning. But not for much longer. 
movement forward, victory, success, people singing your praises because you're going to be in alignment. You're no longer doing something that you don't feel aligned to do. The Lover's Card, Major Arcana for Gemini Energy and the Two of Swords. As I said, choice. Right? Choice. That's what we all have. You could be a murderer for your whole life and then on you know very last minute decide you know what that's not for me anymore i don't know i no longer want to be this person and unfortunately the rest of the world won't see it that way but guess what it's not really our job to judge is it as much as we as human beings think that oh our our judging makes a difference it don't because sources who judges you know whose only judgment matters so whatever we think of someone it, it means absolutely nothing i mean it's just it's just the ego's way of feeling relevant right oh he's a murderer he's murdered 50 million people he should be locked up. Okay, cool. But if that man or a woman decides to internally change their mind about who they are, guess what? Our judgment means nothing. Source will judge them. Right? So life is about choice. You can always make a different choice. But you can't expect the same, you know, the different outcome from making the same choice every day. And that's kind of like this energy. But it looks like it's going to come to an end because you're only betraying yourself. I think this is a realization here. This sort of energy of overthinking and limitations of the mind it only affects us. It only keeps us from where it is we actually want to be and what it is we want to be doing. So it's almost like, what if I made a different choice? And when that happens, the universe starts to honor those different choices. Two of Swords is not wanting to make a decision, not wanting to see shit for what it is, ignoring your intuition. Also this, you see both these people are blindfolded here. This is also a full cycle, a full cycle of your life that you have spent overthinking your way into a prison. This is a 10, nine plus, a ten, eight plus a two is a 10. So an ending to this sort of shit, destructive thinking, an ending to doing things alone, okay? Carrying the weight of the world by yourself, two tens there, movement forward. Movement forward, making the choice to move forward, which is going to be success, which is going to be victory. You also have the Knight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles in your future position. So this is you, the Sagittarius card, right? And I think this is just speaking to getting back into that playful energy again. Getting back to who you truly are, your true essence, which is which is the traveler, which is the, the journeyer, which is very much this vibe, right? It looks like these guys are going on some sort of journey. They move and they shake in. As opposed to this type of energy stuck. This is not Sagittarian energy whatsoever. So it could have been circumstances in your life that kind of threw you off your own element, right? Out of your own element. But it looks like Stella's going to get her groove back or his groove back. Right? You're about to get some sort of authenticity back. You're about to start living authentic authentically again. And you might have a lot going on once you do. Because I do see a lot of movement. I do see a lot of success, victory. This is also a card of success, victory. Two cards of movement forward, success, and victory. Why? Because you you chose to. You decided. You made a decision that that's what you deserve. So that's what you're going to get. Let's get the oracle. See what they got going on. Oh, what's this? You're very close to achieving your goal. There you have it. And the Ace of Swords is actually perfect because the Ace of Swords is what's going to cut through all this sort of nonsense mentality that you might have been keeping up. It could also be people around you and your energy that has helped you stay here. Not no more though. This landscape portal is heavy freedom energy for the collective, you know? Heavy, heavy freedom, mental freedom, which is where it all starts. It all starts as a, as a thought, right? The veil being lifted, no longer seeing shit through delusion and taking accountability. Taking accountability for our own life. Maybe after a long time of letting the things around us dictate what our life looks like. One card for Sagittarius, please. You are very close, though. You are very close. For some of you, by your birthday, but that's with that Knight of Wands in your future, by your birthday, there's going to be some sort of shift. 
some sort of shift emotionally, energetically. Beaver Spirit lay a solid foundation. Number six. So you have two sixes and two. Uh, you actually have two eights too. You have two eights, very contradictive eights, like polar opposites. That contrast, movement, stuckness. You also have two twos. And you have two sixes. Those numbers could be relevant to you. And Gemini, Sagittarius energy and Scorpio energy could also be important, but lay a solid foundation. Some of you could be entering some sort of partnership as well. I do see the Nine of Cups there, water sign energy, maybe some sort of communication. All right, that is your reading, Sagittarius. I really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. See you all next week.